Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. Investigating an armed robbery, police officers must often rely on information obtained from the chance passerby. Well aware of this unpredictable element, Paul Herrick and Bert Nelson devised a plan to reduce this hazard. Their method called for the precise timing of a spectacular event to divert attention from the robbery itself. Think of the people on the street. Now here's how they'll react. You watch and see. The bomb will go off. They'll look around, stunned, scared. Then we'll enter the jewelry store, unnoticed. We'll exit the same way, unnoticed. It must be a plane crash. Maybe a gas main blew up. Well, anyway, it didn't break our show windows. Well, whatever it is, it's right close by. I'm going out and see. No, Sylvia. May I help you? Sure you can. Just do as you're told and there won't be any trouble. Open the safe. It's open. Get out on the floor. Well, get back to me, huh? Yeah, that's right. Thanks. There's been an explosion in Summerton. No details yet. Units are on the way. It must have been quite a blast the way calls are coming in. You know the cause? What about it? No, not yet. The switchboard's lit up with questions, but no answers. All right, fine. If the boy's calling, get back to me right away. Okay. He's all taken care of. Yeah, come on, just a second. Okay, it's all clear out there. Let's get out of here. Thanks a lot. I'll get back there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Ken, what about the blast? What happened? Yeah, two explosive experts are on their way, and 2812's on the scene. What about Sergeant Grant? He reports no casualties and no damage. No damage? All right, you tell me. What blew up? Oh, he doesn't know yet. It was on a vacant lot on Trenton, south of the fourth. Made a fair-sized hole in the ground and plenty of noise, like no one was near it. Wait a minute now. A blast in a vacant lot? That sounds like somebody's idea of a practical joke. Yeah, he's a real joker. See what the crime lab has. As soon as they get a report, call in to me right away, huh? Okay. It was just up the street in the vacant lot. My... Mm -hmm. Mr. Larson? Mm -hmm. Mr. Larson! What happened? Hey, don't you think this will bring better than ten grand? I'm for unloading it fast and clean. Somebody else have the headache of peddling it. And I still say it's a good day's work. Gotta hand it to you, Herrick. The thing went perfect. Tomorrow will even go better. Rockwood's ideal for our operation. It's an industrial town. People there are still jittery over that big explosion at the chemical plant last week. Yeah, they'd probably get panicky if we popped the paper sack. Dynamite will be more effective. I figure we'll bury the bomb early tomorrow morning in that vacant lot. You know, this is a gimmick that we could work again and again. I, I, I mean, right here in the same area. You know, every time an explosion goes wait off... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's don't get overconfident, Nelson. Three fast jobs, and then we move out. By the time the cops can figure out exactly what our operation is, we'll be in some other part of the country. They go and rig that bomb. Yeah. Within minutes, two seemingly unrelated incidents had occurred in the same city block. Preliminary investigation of the blast and the robbery revealed no clue. Following up, the highway patrol questioned the robbery victim and neighboring merchants. I'm Matthews, highway patrol. 
Look, I know you've talked to the other men, but can you think of anything new? Well, I'm afraid not, then. Miss Davis wasn't here during the robbery, Mr. Matthews. No, I wasn't. Well, when I heard the explosion, I guess I just lost my head. Well, I ran out to see what the trouble was. And she's no sooner gone than in came those two men. Did you see them come in the store? No. And when I came back, they'd already gone. And left poor Mr. Larson tied up. Gosh, if I'd only come back a few minutes sooner. Yeah, I know. But look, you said uh, they were well-dressed, they wore masks. Give me an idea of their age, their weight, their height, the whole thing, will you? Well, I was pretty flustered, but the one who tied me up spoke softly, rather polite. I should guess that he was, uh, well, between 30 and 45. I'm afraid that isn't much help. Well, that's a gross understatement. Look, if you think of anything else, call me, will you? Mr. Matthews, may I ask you a question? Just... Go ahead. Well, all the time I was out in the lot, I never did find out what caused the explosion. What on earth was it? It was a small bomb planted in the ground. That's certainly an odd coincidence. Didn't have to be a coincidence. I'll be in touch with you. How are you coming? Okay. As soon as I attach the dynamite and the cap, we'll be all ready. I don't like working with this junk equipment. If I had some good components, I could build you a timing device that would work to the split second. Yeah, sure you could. If a couple of those fancy fragments escape the blast, the police experts could trace it to you as if they had your bridge work. Well, what'd you get from the lab? Oh, not much. A few pieces of an ordinary alarm clock and some chunks of flashlight battery. That's gonna come up the same thing. The whole racket, it's a time bomb. Yeah, well, the lab boys are pretty sure we can look for an experienced pro. Look, if he's a pro, he's gotta have a record. Have you checked it? No, we can't get checking the records of all the ex-cons in this area. There's only one thing we do know, it, he's got access to dynamite. It's your baby. Okay. Okay, that's it. You want to get the lunchbox? Yeah, yeah, sure. Easy. It's not going to go off. It can't until I close the switch and the clock is set. I'll do that just before we plant the bomb. Okay, let's get this junk cleared off the table. We'll take a look at the map again and figure out our exit from Rockwood. All right, Barton, Norton, Grubbs. These guys, they're all free and clear as far as you're concerned. They show up for parole all the time, right? All right, thanks. Hold on one second. What about a guy by the name of Bert Nelson? What about him? Oh, all right, thanks very much. Well, nothing on the dynamite so far. Well, the board has cleared the other three guys. Well, what about the uh, fourth man, Bert Nelson? No address. Did he jump for all of one? Check him and check the other three, too. Get back to me, will right. you? Okay, okay. Enough. Now, take it easy. Take it easy. Play it casual. We got nothing to do from now till noon. For their second robbery in the area, the bandits selected a market serving families living near the industrial section of Rockwood. Shortly after the stroke of noon, the bandits were ready to go into action, waiting for the explosion of a time bomb hidden in a nearby lot. Matthews. What? What part of town? In the Rockwood area, not again. All right, I know an explosion. I'll send the units out. Right, thanks a lot. Rockwood? They had a big explosion there last week, that chemical plant. It was a real mess. I better have the emergency disaster units stand by till we know. Wouldn't want to see one like that again. Uh, I wouldn't either.
Are the units now proceeding to your 1020? The Rosewood area again, I'm sure, huh? That's right. The report just came in. It's at Central Street in Colton. 1632 is on the scene. He reports no known casualties or damage. No casualties? That's what they're making a lot. That's where the blast occurred. Come on, let's... Yeah, this is Williams. Uh, the parole service finally gave us a line on that fourth parolee. We want to make on him, just like all the others. Yeah, that's right. Bert Nelson. Now, here's what we've got. Uh, he's in the state on a travel permit to look for work in electronics. The report's in writing once a month. His last report was postmarked General Delivery, Temple City. Started from there. Well, we've had more trouble in Rockwood. Two men just robbed a market next to the blast. They got 8,000 cash. Rockwood, you got it, figures. We got the units out there. I wonder if they saw the getaway car. I hope so. Let's you and I can find out. Come on. Uh, now, here's that department store on Broadhurst. Yeah. Over here's the grading for the new highway. That's where we plant the bomb. Right? Right, Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. We set the bomb to go off at 1.15. While explosive experts search the blast area for evidence that might lead to the maker of the bomb, other patrolmen interviewed the manager of the nearby market and attempted to obtain witnesses. Take a look, this is a dandy. Well, nobody saw the bandits entering or leaving. Sergeant Haynes is still questioning the employees. Sure it's the same two guys? Well, it looks like it. It's the same M.O. The masks, the guns, and the soft-spoken guy that uses the adhesive tape. So we don't know anything more than we knew before. Wait a minute, you're wrong. There's one thing we know for sure. They tried it twice. Let's figure they're going to try it a third time. Shove off, come on. at the department store at 1 o'clock, separately. We go in the store, we work our way to the back. We browse around. Mingle with the customers. Right, yeah. right. By 1.10, we'll be at the back of the store by the offices. At 1.15, when the bomb goes off, you'll follow me into the cashier's office. And then, we'll be on our way. Oh, I can't take a good look. Yesterday, Summerton. Today, Rockwood. We know they're in this area, right here. They'll probably keep it in a small area. Cut down the distance they have to travel with that dynamite. Let's figure it this way. They're going to try again. Oh, by the way, once you get from the lab? Well, nothing on the print so far. They're all too smudged to make an identification through records. We've got enough on the partials. If we come up with a suspect, we'll have something. I'm going to run through that batch of parolees, see what we get. I'll tell you what. One more blast report. We'll close off the whole area right in here. OK? Now, what's this about a change in plans? We're not going to go out the main highway. We're going to turn west here on Loring Road. That's a cow path. I know, but I've been thinking about that Rockwood job. How fast the cops came into town. Well, yeah, to investigate the explosion. This is the third time we've pulled this trick. The cops aren't completely stupid. They'll be covering the main highways with all the men they have available. I figure we'll load up the car with food, stick to the back roads into the woods. What do you think? Now we're getting somewhere. The lab came up with a print. They took that off the manager's desk and matches the right third finger of one of our parolees. Yeah, I know. Bert Nelson again, right? The only one we haven't located. And let's see, his last parole report between Summerton and Rockwood. Temple City, we can look for trouble right in there. Hey, let's try and stop it. APB on Nelson right away. Okay. minutes after one o'clock Saturday afternoon, the bandits were ready to stage their third robbery in four days. Ten four. That was Blake out in Temple City. The motel manager out there identified Bert Nelson from a mugshot, but he missed him. 
Both men checked out early this morning. Blake was an hour late. Blake know where they're headed? No, but he got a license number. Nelson registered under the name of William Marsh. And here's a description of the other man, John Wheeler. Ed, this is the APB. Nelson and Wheeler. Just got a report on an explosion in Temple City, 8th and Broadhurst, a construction job. That's all we've got. They alert all units in the Temple City area. Two bandits entered the cashier's office shortly after the explosion and took a report at $10,000 from the department's source safe. 12 eight teams investigating now. Let's get on the wheels. Fourteen ten to twenty one fifty. 2150, My 1020 is Garfield Boulevard and Loring Road. As I approached the intersection, I saw a black sedan turn west on Loring. I couldn't see the occupant, so I'm going after it to check it out. Continue pursuit. Use caution. 10-4? 10-4. Back of us are up in front. And probably both. Yeah, that patrol car back on Loring Road, what was it doing there? I mean, this is lousy luck. They're all over the place. Take it easy, kid. We're gonna be okay. Headquarters to 2150. 2150 by. Units 2520, 3212, and 4014 are now at assigned checkpoints north and east of Oak Canyon. Other units are being diverted into that area. 10-4. Sounds like we got them bottled up anyway. Yeah, it's a big bottle, though. We're gonna have to use every man we got. avenue of escape blocked off, the highway patrol made a methodical search of roads in the canyon area. Rechecking of the main roads revealed no trace of the bandits. Plenty of food. We could spend a week up here. Hey, watch it, will you? Fireman and the cops up here. Come on, let's eat. They couldn't have gotten through. All the roads are covered. 
Maybe they took a curve too fast and dropped into a ravine. Well, there's one thing we haven't checked. That's the fire road. What do you say we try them? Well, I know cable's down. With all the units shot, they would have noticed. All right, notify the other units. Tell them we're going to check them all. Okay, this is the one. Tell the other units we're going in, huh? Our headquarters to 2614. Headquarters to 2614. 2614, move to position A. With the cooperation of the Mountain Fire Station, highway patrol units were quickly diverted to strategic points on the intricate network of fire roads. The extensive maze designed to control the menace of fire had now become a labyrinth protecting the two criminals. Sounds awfully close. It's getting closer. Do you see them? No. Better than that, they can't see us. We'll have to make a run for it. They're all over. Yeah, but they're spread out. Come on, we'll head in the other direction. Come on, drop that gun. Drop it right now. Start walking towards the car. Put your hands on top of it. All right, hold it right there. I got it. Okay, turn around. Pretty good gimmick, wasn't it? The bomb, I mean. It was the last one that got us. Let me show you a good gimmick, huh? All right, come on, turn around. All right, come on, let's move. It's all yours, boys. <laughs> 